Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is G. Cole, and welcome to Homegrown, where I get to share with you some good music while talking to some great people. Hello world, I hope you're feeling as good as I am. I want to big up all my homegrown listeners out there and welcome all the new listeners. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do so we can keep you updated when new material is available. We will be posting new episodes bi-weekly. This is episode 9. Yeah, man, that's Kez Namdi and Chronics, Victory, album the wicked, album the wicked. Make sure you go check it out, you know what I mean? Um, w- welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of the Homegrown Podcast. As you can tell by now, I'm Jamaican, that's my native land. So any conversation that shines a light on the land of wood and water brings joy to my heart. Um, today, we're going to be talking about something that I think we should talk about more often. What are Jamaicans living outside of the country doing to help out? And um, I have in the studios with me today, Chris. And on the line, I have Al. Al, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, man. Chris, you're good? Good. Blessed to be here, bro. Welcome, 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 welcome. Um, I'm going to get straight into it. We, 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 there's this project called the Funnel Project. Um, and Chris, I'm going to let you get into that and talk about a little bit what that is, and then I'll have some questions regarding that. Yeah, respect, G. Cole, to be here. Um, Funnel Project pretty much started a few years ago. Um, Initially, we started out, um, you know, just on our own with the guidance of a good friend who is on the line, Alwyn and his wife. Um, you know, they brought up the idea of, you know, contributing back to Jamaica, you know, in a needy cause. And initially, we started out by, um, you know, collecting school supplies and the likes. Right. And ship those to Jamaica to I think it was um, a Chalky Hill um, All Age School. Uh, memory slips me a little bit, but we started doing that, you know, just among a small group of friends, and the reception was overwhelming. The need was visible and clear, and um, you know we decided to expand a little bit by bringing in more friends, more associates to donate. And uh, from that it grew where uh, the following year we did about three schools. Wow. And the year after that we did more. Nice. And, um, you know, one of the teachers at the school that we donated to um, pointed us to a home, uh, the Sunshine uh, Child Care Facility in Spanish Town, Jamaica, Um, that, you know, this is a a place for kids who are in need um, and pretty much kids who are wards of the state. And uh, we got in touch with them. And ever since, uh, we have, in a sense, adopted them where every year, uh, sometimes twice a year, Mm -hmm. uh, we collect food items, 
uh, school supplies, uh, you name it, and we collect uh, all that we can, all the resources we can, um, and donate uh, stuff to them. So uh, thanks to Alwyn and Candice who uh, laid this out for us. Uh, we now have a blueprint where you know we're able to give back to the land of our birth we're able to make a contribution and it's something that you know we're very proud of and, and hope to grow immensely in the future nice 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 uh proud is an understatement i'm very proud of the initiative i, I must say um alwyn yes <laughs> yeah um for yourself and candy and of course thanks candace too for your for your you know all your efforts and so forth and and, and you know everybody that's been putting working because as you know to, to get anything off the ground to get anything moving to conceptualize something a lot of times it takes effort from not just one but from you know as many as many points of reference as you can gather um what was it that made you and candace think about doing something like this uh i think it was actually one year um i think it was a few years ago we were watching i think it was the either the world championship or the olympics and you know we as jamaicans we're real proud when we our country does good and we all jump up and we say, well, yes, Jamaica, Jamaica. But, you know, then a question um, hit me. Um, what are we really doing for Jamaica? How proud are we of, are, are, are all of us of Jamaica after the Olympics, after the World Championship? Mm -hmm. um, we tend to get a little bit discouraged when the country has some challenges, but we're not doing anything about it. Right. And, um, you know, that, that kind of laid the groundwork and, you know, um, not to sound cynical or anything, but um, we felt that we needed to focus on the kids in order to achieve um, a better Jamaica. So that's what we did. Um, um, Candice had some um, aunts who are educators. I have some cousins and aunts who are educators also. So naturally, that's that's the direction we um, we let we were led to. Right. And um, you know, we 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 are blessed to have. Uh, a group around us who were very receptive to um, ideas, especially about helping others. Mm -hmm. um, so when we brought it to Chris and Sasha and the rest of the group, um, there was no hesitation. Um, it was just a, a tremendous joy to see, um, you know, the level of dedication over the years as it has grown. Um, you know, of course, as it, as it grows more resources, more efforts, Right. And um, everybody has stepped up to the plate. That's beautiful, man. Trust me, like I said, it's 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 a wonderful initiative, and and um, to the point where I actually look forward to it. It's like you know, Christmas is coming. We got our Christmas plans. The tree is going <laughs> up, real. such and such. You know what I mean? Yeah. And and we got a funnel project going, and of course, sometimes back to school and stuff like that's coming up too. So you know, we have our kids up here that we're getting ready for school and so forth. And then you know, got the funnel project in initiative, and 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 truth be told, like you mentioned. We're starting with the youth. And no matter what, everything you do, your best bet right now is to start with the youth. Um, the, the, I remember when I was in primary school, grade six, Miss Harrison's grade six, I can remember vividly. I went to school once without some books. Like first or second day of school, I, had, I didn't have some books that I needed. Not that I wasn't going to get them, but mom was a busy woman. She didn't get around to it yet. Um, and, and I told my teacher I didn't have the books yet. And she said, she asked me if I had siblings. And I said, yeah. And she said, you know, where do they go to school? At the time, I'm in primary school. My brothers are in high school. So I was like, they're in high school. They went to Homewood in Manchester. I'm like, okay, um, do they have their books? I'm like, yeah, I'm sure they do. And her question to me was, then why don't you have yours? Why is it that the value is placed less than yours? Is it because you're the younger one or so forth? And it, it's something that stuck with me from then. Wow. You know what I mean? So it's a scenario where if, you, if you're going to focus on something, you know, Focus, focus on the youth. Not to say that you're going to abandon or alienate anybody else, but definitely it's always a good thing to start with the youth. You First know? starting point. Absolutely, absolutely. So, you know, we're going to keep it going. We're going to keep it going to some more information, talk to the guys a little bit further. Don't go anywhere. Keep it moving. Keep it grooving. It's homegrown.
Yeah, man, that's Richie Spice, Righteous Youths. And trust me, there's a whole barrage of Righteous Youth man out there. It's it's amazing, you know. I, I remember one time, I don't know how true it is, but, you know, I heard this thing where they said, for something, for you to talk about something good, it has to happen to you 17 times. Talk about something bad, it happened to you one time. Really? And you talk about it. And a lot of times, you know, there's initiatives going on and people are doing things and so forth. And, um, you know, no light is being shed upon it. But that's fine. It's not about the light that's being shed on it. You know, it's just we have, we have a balance and we got to know that, you know, people are people are trying. Some, some you know, it needs to be better. It needs to be improved. It needs to be improved and so forth. But people are trying. And I'll, like you mentioned earlier, Jamaicans are very proud people. If reggae are playing at Dubai... Where we have the flag. If you see in Bolt running on the moon, we have on with colors. If Tessan China sing on the voice, the whole nation tuning in. The thing is, all of those people that we mentioned, them good. They're in a good place in them life. You know what I mean? Or so we think. You know what I mean? Financially and otherwise. So what we're doing pretty much is we need to focus on those people who are not. And um and I'll and I'll, I'll focus this in your direction, Chris. When we talk about lending support and extending help, and you know, people start thinking UNICEF, United Way, and some dot org. You know, something that may require some major capital. Um, this project, the funnel project, it's something that, again, just regular folks doing what we do. Right. Right. Um, let me know as far as, I don't even want to say hurdles, but pretty much steps, what you do, simple things, just going to Walmart, doing this and that. What's the process? What you do to get this stuff like this off the ground? Well, to be honest with you, uh, when we just started out, um, it was a bit intimidating, um, you know, to start the whole process, um, it seemed uh, overwhelming at the time. But then we realized that, you know, with a group, um, you know, I, you get efforts from different people. Uh, we started out, uh, I think the first year we uh, sent stuff to Jamaica, it was all uh, educational material. Mm -hmm. uh, books, pencils, erasers, you name it, everything for the classroom. And we realized that uh, with multiple people, uh, multiple people coming in and, and, and contributing, the actual impact on the individual that's contributing was uh, pretty much uh, uh, negligible right. um, because the effort was pooled. I mean, we went to Walmart and we got, you know, hundreds of books for probably less than $50 because we went during the back to school time, uh, right. books were on sale. You know, we had contributions from people who we met in just talking about what we were doing and we were able to get funds to help with the shipping, um, to, to buy the containers, to put the stuff in, right. uh, to help the recipient with, uh, you know, customs costs and so forth. Um, so, uh, coming together in numbers really helped to get the, uh, the effort, uh, off the ground, um, I must say, um, as you know, I don't want to term the, term it as hurdles, but you know, the slight difficulty we have had in, in doing this, and and you know, hopefully with this, you know, getting out there and people listening, um, and, and people in the know, hearing this podcast will you know help to to see how we can. Uh, get the whole process of when uh, the containers reach Jamaica, how it's the best process for it to get to the recipient. Um, we're talking about people who are in need. Right. And, um, you know, we have people in the States, in Canada. We have friends in Canada who contribute, and they're willing to contribute. But, you know, we get all this stuff. It gets to the wharves in Kingston or Montego Bay. And the recipient has to dig deep in their pockets get it clear. To, to get it clear, even though they're clearly in need, uh, clearly an organization that, um, you know, um, have the need, you know, with, you know, the Sunshine Child Care Facility has about 30 odd um, kids. Right. And, um, you know, the director each time, you know, it's difficult for them to clear the, the goods at the wars um, because they have to dig deep in their pocket. So we don't want when we contribute uh, something, it's a burden to the recipient in any way. Right. So that's, you know, the minor or, you know, the most significant hurdle 
so um, far. in the process that we have encountered. But it's it's a learning process. You know, we're open to ideas to see how we can, you know, get around that. But, you know. We'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. And and, and, and here's the deal. Um, there's a platform, so I'm going to use it. Here's the thing. Um, we have people listening all across the world. Sometimes, you know, it takes numbers to get something done. Um, right. Some whistleblowers or whatever, who knows who, need to make a call and talk or do something. may never happen. It very well, way. It very well may. Um, here's the thing. Whether or not we realize it, accept it, admit it, doing stuff like this is sometimes helping out the government. You're helping out the kids, but you're helping out the government too because the reality of it is the populace is dependent on the government somehow, some way, and it's their sworn duty to help these people out. Right. So we are coming in and others and so forth coming in and helping out. So there's got to be something, some way, somehow that can be done. I'm not saying let everything in free, but can make the process a little bit simpler. Uh, I'm not going to harp on that too much because I don't want to discourage anybody. Um, Alan, know you, 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 you know, you, you, you back and forth in Jamaica a lot and so forth. Is there anything you've heard, any, any, any information you've come about that maybe? And I'm not talking about specifics, names, numbers, and so forth, but you know, any, anything that you've heard, anything you've come across that might be a process or something that can simplify the situation down there. Uh, yeah, there, there, there's definitely um, some processes that can be put in place um, because the reality is this. Um, anytime we're sending, when we started out with the schools, um, we're sending the name, the, ba- the barrel in the name of the school, in the name of the principal. So obviously there's a way to verify it. Um, just to let you know, when we were sending it to the schools, and as Chris mentioned, we didn't want it to be a burden on the schools. So um, I myself contacted like the Ministry of Education in Jamaica and um, in trying to get a waiver for the schools. Mm-hmm. But the process is so um, tedious that, um, you know, even after we got the waiver, the, when the, the principal or the, the representatives of the school went to the wharf to clear it, there were still um, financial implications that they had to cover. Right, right. Um, and th- those in themselves, are, that, that's a challenge because we're try- up here trying to help and some, at, at that point, we feel as if we're putting an additional burden. Right. And it's easy for someone to say, well, you know, at least they're getting something. But, you know, that, that, that something sometimes is negligible to the amount that they're going to be paying, right. especially most times out of their own pocket. So, um, you know, I do feel there, there, there are processes that can be put in. Like um, we're doing the, the, the children's home now. And I was just in Jamaica recently, and we went there to visit um, with the children and the representative, the director. And um, she was letting us know about, um, you know, they're, they're, they themselves are trying to get a waiver from the government. Mm-hmm. Now, this is a, is, a, is a children's home who has wards of the state. How hard should it be for them to get your waiver? But it's a process. Right. So those are some of the, the, the challenges that we do have. But, um, you know, as Chris said, we're, we're working through it. We're, we're not going to be deterred. Right. Um, it, it only motivates us to, um, to keep pushing. Right, right. And as you said, hopefully this is a medium that's going to help to open up some doors. Yeah, man. It's, it's, it's you know, it's growth. And, 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 and there's no step like the first step. You know, just like the first step of putting out the um, starting the funnel project. You know, here we are today, a couple of years later, and it and it's going stronger and stronger and stronger. So, as far as getting the word out there and getting the necessary the necessary ears to hear, you know, this is the first step. So let's keep it going. Um, the other thing to and, and I'll say is this: until until we we discover a medium or, or a source or something that can help alleviate the pressures on that end of it, allocate funds. So in other words, just like anything else, you know, you, 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 and just to simplify the numbers, you know, if you round up $100 in, in, in cash to, to send support, just make sure, say, you know, 20 is allocated for that part of it. So as, you know, because I know sometimes people ask, okay, you know, can we do this? Can we do that? And sometimes, simple as it sounds, the easiest thing is cash, you know. Sure. The good thing about it is in a group like this, people are very generous with their time. You know, I'm going to, to, to Walmart. Chris is going to Walmart. We're going to Target. We're going to pick up some books already. So somebody might not have the time to go there. So they'll be like, listen, I'm going to shoot you the funds. Just pick up some. Right. You know, and at some point in time, we reach a certain mass in, 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 in terms of what you're going to send down. And then some of that funds can go along to shipping, go along to, you know, paying, paying the costs and so forth down there. So until we get to the point where that part is ironed out, then I guess we can do that. Um, and then once that part is rectified, then, 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 you know, I guess the amount of stuff that goes will be bigger. But the good thing is that the first step has been made. The second step has been made. The third step has been made. And we're keeping growing and growing. So, you know, there's more information to come. Don't go anywhere. Keep it moving. Keep it grooving. It's homegrown. Here we are. Here we are. 
Yeah. This one right here is for the people. The starving tummies pay no mind to the youths Cause it's not like the future depends on it. But we'll save the animals in the zoo. Cause the chimpanzee, them are make big money. This is how the media villages. On TV, the picture is savages and villages. And the scientists still can't explain the pyramids. <laughs> Evangelists making a living on the videos of ribs of the little kids. Stereotyping the image of the images. And this is what the image is. You buy a car key pants, and all of a sudden you are say a Indiana Jones. And I keep out the gold and keep out the scrolls and even the bird bones Some of the worst paparazzi I've ever seen and I've ever known Put the worst on this place so the world can see and that's all I will ever show So the ones in the west will never move east and feel like it be a town Get tricked by the beast but the way them are gonna flee when the monster is fully grown Salamonic lineage where them still can defeat and them could have never clown My spiritual DNA that prints in my soul and I will forever own love Sabali, that's patience. It's what the old folks told me. And yeah, man, that one is patience. Damon Marley and Nas. Album the wicked enough. If you know if you go check it out, I love it. Um, gentlemen, not to overblow or sensationalize anything. But there are gonna be there are people in need. We can't get around that. Um, the amazing thing is when you try to rally the troops to help, people always have questions to ask, like. And I'm going off of one or two people who have asked, and they did come on board, but the, the original questions were, how do you know the stuff's going where it's supposed to go? And you know what I mean? I'm, I, personally, by nature, I'm a little combative. You know what I mean? So I'd probably say, how you know where your tax money going? Real. You know what I mean? How you know where your child support going? How you, go, how you know where your tide going? You know what I mean? If you're skeptical about organizations, then team up and with, with, with your own peers. Do things yourself. Do things with people you trust. Um, Al, you were in Jamaica recently. And you went to see some of the students at one of the schools that benefited from the funnel project. What was that experience like? Um, it was it was um, it, it was a humbling experience. Um, you know, a few years ago we we went to a school and um, you know after after we delivered the goods and we were told at that point um, there was a a, um, a flood that happened in, in Spanish Town and there were kids there that lost everything and the principal was explaining to us just how beneficial it was. And it's, it's as if they said, God always come at the right time. Mm-hmm. Um, those goods came at the right time because the, the kids didn't miss a beat. Yes, the home situation was, was dire, right. but they were still able to come to school and keep some normalcy. Um, oh. You know, recently in the last few um, weeks, when we, um, my wife and I went to the Sunshine Academy in Spanish Town and just seeing the kids and when the director took us to the storeroom and could show us all of the goods that were sent and wow. the amount that we sent and that they still had some left even after all these months, wow. it was humbling because yes. we know that we're bringing value um, to the situation. Right. So it was, it's, it's just a humbling experience. And they themselves are thankful. The, the workers are thankful. The, the students are, are, are thankful. Um, and, you know, we even brought um, one of my, my wife's uncle um, to the children's home. He had no clue. He he's lives in Jamaica. He had no clue that that, that, um, that home was there. Right. And he was just humbled and amazed at, you know, how, how we're able to help. Just a small group of us were able to make that much of a difference. Wow. 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 Trust me, I see the videos because I know I, um, I don't know if Chris had sent you some videos, too. So, um, you know, just the kids there and, 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 and them just going through their day and singing and stuff like that. And oh, man. Gratifying. 
Very much so, man. Uh, you know, the, I, the first time I saw those videos of the kids uh, actually um, unpacking the uh, food items and so forth that, that were sent, I mean, it, it was probably the most humbling uh, experience I ever had. Wow. Um, just to see the impact uh, a simple box of cereal that, you know, we here pretty much take for granted, mm -hmm. you know. Um, the director once told me that, you know, the kids were like, you know, wanting the, the mac and cheese that was sent for them for breakfast <laughs> and how excited they were for like the pancakes and so forth. Wow. And, um, you know, just the impact it had on them, you know, they were so grateful, um, you know, they performed songs, you know, in gratitude, you know, they wrote letters in gratitude, you know, in terms of the stuff they, they received. So, you know, People who have doubt as to whether, um, you know, what they contributed uh, went to the intended target, you know, you know, for us, we normally put those who donate uh, in contact with the receiving institution. You say, you know what, you can call these people directly. Right. You, you can see, uh, pretty much track your, mm -hmm. your contributions. And one of the things that, you know, we did um, you know, when we started expanding the pool of people who, who contributed to the, uh, the whole, uh, donation is that we say, look, you, you really don't have to contribute to us per se. Right. If you want, you can directly get in touch with the institution we're trying to help and you can send your funds, your goods directly to them. Right. So we're just a vessel. You know, Funnel Project, you know, that name pretty much says it. You know, we're not holding on to whatever comes in. Right. It's just flowing through us to, to the them. intended people. And, and you know, that's, that's, that's our mantra. That's wow. how we're going about it. We're just a funnel to help the kids, to help those who are in need. So if anyone is listening to this and say, hey, you know, just another set of people looking to rip people off that's not where we're coming from we 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 in fact are quite reluctant to accept funds from people who we don't know personally right. and we would rather put you in touch directly with the recipient and say hey we know these people are in need do you mind helping them out right. so you know that's the approach we take which is uh, you know different from your typical people who uh, right. do fundraising yeah, and, and, and here's the deal. There's, there's, there's no questioning why people are skeptical, and that's cool. That is, that, that, that's cool. Um, you know, like the saying goes, you know, to whom much is given, much is expected. And, and, and you know, we, we can, you know, try to rationalize what much is, mm -hmm. you know. But, but to be perfectly honest with you, if you sit back and, you know, analyze the situation as is, what you may deem a little mm -hmm. to somebody else right. is much. You know, and the good thing about a, pro a project like this is this. Nobody's asking anybody listening to, to, to join this group no. or to support this group. Um, just putting the information out there that this is going on. People are doing this. People like yourself. People who you may know or may not know. And just another human being living around the street, around the corner, your neighbor. So it's doable. So in other words, you're just putting it out there, doing, you know, casting some inspiration out. So you can jump on board or set up your own thing. Because a lot of time people think that the first step is 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 a, is a hurdle, it's a mountain. You know, right. it sounds monumental, but the truth is, it's not. It's 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 not at all. Right, and and um, you know, the the goal here is not really to say, hey, call this number, or send to this email, to grow or pull. We're saying, look, you know, you love your home country. You're here. You you've always wanted to help, you know. In speaking to a couple of my friends who reside in Canada, they were like, you know, they were so grateful for the opportunity. But they said, you know, they always wanted to do this, to donate, to contribute, but they just didn't know how to make that first move. So you know, our encouragement, and my encouragement to those who are listening is like, if you feel the urge, if you feel a calling to do something to give back to Jamaica in any way shape or form make that first step you know tell somebody you know share with someone what you want to do and make that first step and in increments you'll get there 
Yeah. Um, but we don't want to look, you know, to blow things out of the park on the first go, but mm -hmm. incremental steps and, and, and you'll get there. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, and, uh, you know, I can I can add that um, since, uh, since we've been doing this, I've come across many organizations of just, that started of just a group of friends or um, one individual. Um, I know one young lady is doing it in the um, honor of her grandfather where she provides backpacks and school, school supplies um, to a particular community where he's from in Jamaica. So, you know, there are organizations out there, as Chris, um, you know, rightfully stated, we're not asking, you know, we, yeah, we, we, we all, everybody could do with support, but there's so much need in Jamaica and so many, so many people that are in need that, you know, just make the first step and reach out to someone, someone from your community, so maybe someone even in your family right, right. Um, who can, you know, get in touch with the appropriate people. Um, churches, you know, I mean, there are different organizations. I just found out while I was in Jamaica, my, my church, Philip Baptist in Spanish Town, has a children's home of their own. I did not know that. So, wow. you know, until you start speaking to people, that's when you start learning about the needs and some of the efforts that are being taken place. So um, I'll just encourage anybody to just go out and keep giving, We're, you know, right. and, and take the opportunity to give back to our country. Absolutely. And there's strength in numbers, you know what I mean? And I'm, I'm, I'm very inspired. And a lot of times, you know, you come up with an idea and you want to you wanna, you wanna share it with others, but you are concerned or you're a little skeptical and so forth. Personalize it, you know what I mean? Put the sentiment on it. I remember one year, year after my mom passed, we did one for my at school. My godmother was um, assisting a basic school down there and it was done in her honor. Right. You know, a lot of times you can do little stuff like that because that meant a lot to me. That meant a lot to my family and so forth. And, um, you know, you can do stuff like that. Like you said, grandpa passed away. You know, grandpa was sentimentally attached to that school or that church or so forth. Do something in grandpa's honor. You know what I mean? And stuff like that. And it will work. And, and I'll, like you said, when, if, if people want to know and they want to be personal with it, which I, 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 I definitely encourage, when you're going to Jamaica on your vacation, take a day out of the vacation. Take a couple hours out of the vacation and stop by that place. Most definitely. You know, you'll see the impact yourself. And I think once you see that and you feel that, you'll come back and you'll probably want to share it a little bit more, you know? But we'll get into some more about this, you know? Keep it moving. Keep it grooving. It's homegrown. They want to divide and rule. Bye 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 bye. It's a generation we can't fool. Bye 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 bye. Uprising, we on the rising. Say they want to take it over. I want them. Say we got to run for cover. Freedom fighters, we keep surviving. Let them know we're not push over. It's not over till it's over. This world is coming to I really got to know where we are running to Yeah, say we try to find a place But we're running out of space Like what we are supposed to do uh -oh. Somebody tell me please where we running from Is it the fighting or illusion by the hands of man? Yeah, time to find a common ground Can't afford to run around Why can't we get along? Uprising We on the horizon Say they want to take it over. They will never. Say we got to run for cover. Freedom fighters, we keep surviving. Let them know we're not push over. Never. It's not over till it's over. To see unification is my greatest desire. But my none then we get cast in the fire. Boy, what a dragon and the fear, the illusion and the fear get burned with the teeth and the liar. Let's get together the words of the Messiah. No single loud make we do this in a choir. No man is an island, no man stands alone. Show love and let your love inspire. Come on, uprising, we on the horizon. Say they want to take it over. Say we got to run for cover. Freedom fighters, we keep surviving. Let them know we're not push over. It's not over till it's over. We got to find a way. We live to see that day. Yeah, man, that one is called Uprising from the album Conversations. That's Kimani Marley and um and Jenkelman. Jenkelman, a big bad artist out of Germany, you know. Um, gentlemen, I think giving generously, humanity, just love for your fellow man, that kind of that kind of feeling should be innate, but it seems like it's not anymore. 
So I love, one thing I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, I really, really like is that the kids are involved and they are learning giving and they're they're learning how to extend the hand. And, you know, so, so when they become of age, helping out will be normal for them. What do you guys think about that? Start with you, Chris. And, and I know your kids are always there putting a hand into and making sure that they're, they're intimately involved in the process. You know, how do you think that that affects them? Well, most definitely in a positive way. Um, you know, um, in my in my case, um, you know, we pretty much um, at my home uh, pretty much uh, host the containers that we get all the stuff to ship to Jamaica. Um, you know, just because of uh, location, you know, I'm pretty much the closest to the shipping company. So right, right, <laughs> yeah. right. But um, so we, once we get everything in, once we get the books and so forth, you know, you know, my two kids, Christian and Olivia, they see all that stuff coming in and they're like, Dad, you know, what's this about? And, you know, we explain to them like, you know, uh, this is for the kids who are in need in Jamaica. Um, wow. You know, so we gather up the books and, you know, simple stuff that they see around the house and took for granted, they realize that, you know, other kids uh, getting the same stuff would mean the world to them. Right. And, and part of what we do is uh, we not only send uh, new books and so forth, but, you know, we have books that the kids read through multiple times and no longer using. Mm -hmm. We send those books as well because once those books get to those kids, they're, you know, they're new to them. They yep. enjoy it and so forth. So they see firsthand giving, you know, what it takes. Mm -hmm. They see the videos uh, coming back, being played with the kids, showing their appreciation, singing songs and so forth. So there's no doubt that they understand that right. part of being a decent human being is, um, you know, giving back, uh, give to the needy and be appreciative of what you have. So I'm confident that, you wow. know, the younger generation, um, you know, will be better off for it. Yep. Yep. The impact is, again, astronomical. You, you, you know, the little things we take for granted, you know, they say your, um, your gratitude starts where your sense of entitlement ends, you know, and I think it right. opens that up for the kids in terms of, you know, you know, they're, they got to be grateful for what they have, you know, they stop being entitled and so forth and seeing that, listen, Oh yeah. you know, there are people out there, Little kids just like me, you know what I mean? You know, I'm running around freely every day, free-spirited, free-minded, you know what I mean? A lot of people out there <laughs> have a lot more things on their head at a younger age, like Richie Spice say, you know? Exactly. Um, so it's it's one of them things. And I'll, you know, getting the stuff together can be the easy part. Nowadays with how shipping is and so forth, the physical act of shipping it is, you know, is, is not that tough anymore either. You know what I mean? But it's just, again, getting that momentum, getting started. You know what I mean? Get, get, making the first step. Um... As for us, it was pretty much a simple thing as, you know, we got a whole bunch of people in your WhatsApp, you know, bring them on board, bring them on board, bring them on board. Um, you mentioned earlier churches and so forth. Um, when you were down there in, in, in Jamaica, outside of, you know, what you were doing, you know, could you see impact from other people doing stuff to other people from the diaspora, other people outside of the country contributing to different efforts down there? Uh, yeah, there, you know, there, you know, one, one thing I must say, um, you know, some sometimes we we get lost in all the needs and you know the 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 you know we we only see the bad most times but there's a lot of people in the UK um the US Canada that are giving back to Jamaica and we must give credit to that right. um can more be done uh, definitely there's a lot more and a lot you know because the re reality is um our country our country Jamaica it's a, you know we we sometimes take it for granted how small it is Right. And, um, you know, because of all the accomplishments, we're all proud of our country. But the reality is we're a small developing um, nation um, that have has some issues, uh, monetary issues and the, 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 the small amount of resources that the country has. It can only go so far. Right. Um, so, you know, I, I, we, we tend to focus more not on what the government is not doing, but more on what we are doing and what others are doing. So. You have to be grateful and thankful that, you know, there are so many people. Um, could there be more? Definitely. Right. Um, um, that, that, that's, that's a challenge I actually, um, you know, if I had an opportunity to challenge some of even the churches in Jamaica. Jamaica has a record for most churches per square capita. <laughs> and um, I, I, 
I, I, I was saying to um, a relative while down there, if I, if I could challenge the churches, you have a church on every corner. Um, they, they, instead of building those nice big buildings and having the building phone, there, there are people there who are in, in a lot of need. So I, I just feel that, um, you know, they, they could be doing more. <laughs> And, and that's just a personal opinion on my end. I'm sure I'll get challenged on that. Yes, yes, Deacon, I, Deacon Chambers, no, you're nothing but. <laughs> <laughs> but I, 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 I subscribe to the to the, the notion that we all can can do more. You of know, course. even when we feel we're at our limit, we can do more. Each one, each so that one. would be my Most yes, definitely. Exactly. Yeah. Nah, it's definitely, definitely, definitely true. And um, again, I'm but like I said, I'm I'm so inspired. You know, sometimes we look to. Um, and I say we, I generalize the statement, but, you know, we look to people way outside of our, 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 our circle for inspiration, be it somebody on TV, be it somebody in politics, be it somebody in your church that, True. you know, you know, a church go right now, my, my, my church is a <laughs> mega church, you know, for, I, it's crazy as it sounds and I'm not to knock anything, whatever. One day <laughs> it was camp time and I was bringing my, I was bringing Joey up there to go to camp and I saw a pastor and I stopped and I was saying, what's up? And out of joke, I said, listen, let me take a picture of you for the gram. Because I said to him, I said, because my wife's not going to believe that I actually was talking to you. So let me take this picture. So, you know, sometimes they're, they're, they're there, but they're so far away. True, Just how true. things are. So we look for inspiration in some far-fetched places sometimes. I will say I'm inspired by those around me. You guys... And um, the rest of the group, the family, the kids, everybody, and how much they do, not just for, for, for this, but just as individuals. So, you know, we do definitely want to put the word out there and implore everybody, just dig, dig deep in your soul and, you know, be, a, be that person, be the first step, be the bridge, you know, be the person who incites that kind of, kind of movement from, from your peers. And, you know, but, but there's more to come. We'll keep talking about the subject. There's a lot more information we have to give. Um, just keep it moving. Keep it grooving. It's homegrown. Go look for Mama Jai. She said nothing, not the dear. Pan the youth them face. I see the pain. Oh. Yeah, man, that's Etana with Free. You know what I mean? Make sure you say you go ahead and check out that um, album, Free Expressions in stores. It's a very good album. You know what I mean? Love the works that she's been putting out. Um, I, I, I consider myself very blessed and lucky to be around people, you know, the people who I am, in fact. You know, because those people inspire me, you know. So, you know, them say, I am sharp, my iron. That's what I'm saying? For real. You know, um, I, I'm, in, in next week, I'm going to be talking to a mentor of mine who is also doing some things in Jamaica right now. Just, just what he deems paying it forward. To his, his alma mater, you know, I mean, a school down there, York Castle, some scholarships and stuff like that, that he's personally doing. So I'm, I'm encouraged, I'm moved because, you know, people are doing stuff. Like I said, sometimes you don't know. Um, it's not something he wants to talk about. It's something that I know that he's doing and I've, you know, asked him if it's okay that we shine a light on it. You know what I mean? Because I think that's what we need to do. We talk about everything else. Cameras pick up things that I'm not for pick up. You know what I mean? Really? And, 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 and if they matter about alkaline, everybody will see it. So let's talk, <laughs> <laughs> we could talk about the things that were, that's, that's beneficial. You know what I mean? So since you guys been doing this, or since the whole group's been doing it, um, I'll, again, I'm asking you because you're most recently coming from Jamaica. Outside of churches and so forth, are there any avenues that you've heard of or seen created by the country to help with facilitating people outside that want to help? Because again, that's the, when I talk to people generally, that's, 
kind of questions that they'll ask, you know what I mean? So when you do decide to do all this and do that and so forth and send it down there, is there anywhere? I know you call the Ministry of Education and so forth. Any other word on that in terms of if, there, if there's any avenues created where, you know, it can help the people out down there to, to, to be able to receive these things? Uh, that, that, that's, that's always a challenging part of it. Um, not really. Um, there's a Jamaica diaspora, of course, which does a, a lot um, for Jamaica on the big scale. Um, but, you know, we, we, we even reached out to them a few times um, when we were doing the schools and, you know, try and get some information. Um, we did get responses and phone numbers for people who we could call. Um, but, you know, we all are from Jamaica, so we're not going to act as if, you know, everything is good. <laughs> we, we call and left messages um, and, you know, no, nobody responded. And I'm talking government agencies call and leave messages <laughs> and um, let, letting them know what the situation was about, sent emails and, um, you know, the usual, we'll get back to you. And, you know, mm. after a while, you know, you have to just take it up on yourself and say, listen, if you want to get it done, it's going to be more of a challenge, but again, we're, we're up Sacrifices, to the Sacrifices, yeah. Exactly. Trust me, so, trust me, you know, trust me. We, we just have to dig deep and, you know, reach out to the close community that we have amongst us. And, you know, as Chris mentioned before, we have a really diverse group and a given group because I have, a, I have friends that I'll call and make a request. And once they hear back to, you know, back to school or Jamaica, they know what I'm talking about. Right. I can expect to see some money in my account. So... You know, there, there's there's always that that um <laughs> those friends you can no pressure on and, uh, <laughs> no pressure <laughs> but but they 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 understand the need they right. understand the need and the challenges that go along with it and they know this is very passionate to us and you know right, so right. they 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 you know as I said when you have friends and they know what is important to you right they 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 usually respond accordingly. And the good thing is most of our friends, most of the people in our group are of like minded. They are like minded in terms of they all want to give back. Right. So, right. you know, we, we have always um, met or exceeded um, our goal or what we're trying to do. Right. I think the last time Chris can correct me if I'm wrong, I think we ended up sending an additional barrel wow. because we got so much, um, you know, from 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 our friends. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, we had uh you know, a, a modest uh, surplus, surplus to put it, you know, lightly. And, um, you know, it, it, it was one of those things where, you know, initially when we got the huge container, we were like, how are we going to fill this? Um, you know, and, you know, once the items started pouring in, uh, pretty much there there was nowhere for... Uh, for the car to to be in the garage, we have to park the car on the outside because wow. there was so much stuff coming in. So, you know, we're grateful that people have opened up their their hearts, right? And and, and their pantry and, and their pantries, and um, for that we are grateful on behalf of the kids in Jamaica. I mean, you know, simple. It, it's really easy to give once you start giving. That's how I can put it. You know, once right. you start giving, you see the impact, you realize that life is more than just about you and and your immediate concerns. But giving a box of cereal to a kid who to that kid, that's like the world. Right. And they never forget that. Mm -hmm. Well, you who gave the box of cereal don't even have the slightest clue the impact. the impact you just made on another human being's life so wow you know giving you know it's just a blessing and you know wow. it's something we look forward to doing nice and, and and i'll be perfectly honest with you um half of that question was rhetorical primarily because i know their their ears that's going to be hearing it in jamaica and i kind of wanted it to come out there that we're trying calling about an answer right. you know what i'm saying and <laughs> and and pretty much Something needs to be done. Mild pressure, mild pressure. Yeah, mild, you know what I mean? Subliminals. Yeah. You know what I mean? So whatever I call it thing, but you're hearing it. It's oh, please overhear that we are trying. You know what I mean? Sending the emails, we call in and so forth, you know. Um, we never knock on the door because we're not taking them kind of chances. But, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> but, but we're trying to get a hold of you. And, 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 and whatever can be done, though, nobody's asking you to fly the gate. You know what I mean? But 
do something, help out. Because when people outside want to help, don't no, 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 let's take the barriers down. We don't want to discourage anybody. Because truth be told, you know, there's not every some people knock and knock until they get it down and do what they can do. But some people, the reaction is gonna be, listen, I'm trying and and they're making it difficult. You know yeah. what I mean? So and, go ahead. And and you know, um, you know, if, if you know to to right on that point um, that you just made. Um, $100 or $80 US or whatever the cost is at the WAF mm -hmm. that um, that individual has to pay. Imagine how much more goods or how much more cereal or pancake mix or whatever it is we could purchase with that money if we didn't have to then send that money down there to help them clear that amount. So um, we could provide so much more if you know some of the barriers are, are removed. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, we, 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 ex again, we, we all expect challenges as a part of life, but, you know, we, we just feel as if, you know, the government knows it's, it's, it's a childcare facility. The government knows it's a school. Um, it's not as if they're going to look in the barrel and see, um, you know, <laughs> electronics <laughs> or whatever. They're all school supply, food and all of that. So, you know, they, they know, they know, I, I, I think a, a smart person would be able to decipher between, us sending, you know, personal <laughs> items than, than other things. So I, yeah, so I, I, I totally agree with you. Yeah, you know, here, here that we're calling and trying to, right. Only we, our only purpose is to do, do, do better for our country. I guess smart so, and sensitive and caring are three different things. Yes. Um, all right. Well, guess what? We're not going to stop trying. You know what I mean? This is what we do. Um, again, the gratification is immense. And um, the benefit to those recipients is, 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 is exponential. So we'll keep that going. So don't go nowhere. Keep it moving. Keep it grooving. It's homegrown. Working Ways, Stephen Marley featuring Spraga Benz from the album Revelation Part 1. You know, love the album, I love the album. Um, part 2, terrible too. So, you know what I mean? If you, don't, if you don't have one, get the other. If you don't have the other one, get the other. And I would suggest you get them both. I love them. They're wicked. Um, I'm a firm believer that grassroots movements can be so much more effective than big organizations. That's just me. That's just me. And, and I've seen it not only in, 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 in situations like these, but even when, let's backtrack eight and a half years ago. When, when President Obama was campaigning to be elected. It's a grassroots movement that got him elected. You know what I mean? So people out there listening, grassroots is very effective. You know what I mean? Start something right in your house. Start something right amongst your peers and you should be good. I, I don't dwell on the hurdles as much because I don't want to discourage anybody. You know what I mean? And, and right now I'm just saying, let's go. You know what yeah. I mean? But by no way, shape or form am I saying it's easy breezy. You know what I mean? But... Um, something I was going to talk about, but of course we touched on it earlier pretty much is just, you know, if, if anything, reach out to, to your primary school that you went to, reach out to your basic school that you went to, 
the church that you went to. Because a lot of people, you know, we stay, we have connections. When we go to Jamaica, sometimes you don't know for a week or so forth. If you're there on a Sunday, you got somehow, somewhere you try to drop by the church you used to go. Something like that. You know what I mean? When you go, I mean, shake hands with everybody and do a normal little meet and greet and make everybody see your face. But find out what you can do. You know what I mean? The first thing is just make a move. And like you had mentioned earlier, Al um, and Chris, ask your family member that's down there. Somebody that works in the school, somebody that works in the church, somebody that's in the community. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's about the first step. I mean, what do you say, Chris? You agree? Uh, most definitely. I mean, um, you know, it's peer-to-peer connections, uh, people-to-people. Um, you know, and um, that's how actually we started um, with this latest uh, institution. Um, my cousin, who is a teacher at uh, Chalky Hill um, All Age School, uh, probably junior high right now, um, you know, she knew off the home in Spanish Town, and, and he said, "You know what, Chris? We we." You know, there's an institution that is a you know would greatly appreciate um, you know the efforts you guys are putting out in giving to the schools and so forth. And you know, she gave me some background on the institution, and I came back and I spoke to the group about it and so forth. And because I had a personal connection, uh, you know, with the person who told me about it, you know, I knew it was legit. And so we went forward from there. So I didn't know of the facility before, but right. in speaking to my cousin, who is a, a teacher, mm-hmm. I was able to, you know, figure out what's going on there and pass the info to the group. And here we are, you know, several years later, yep. uh, pretty much uh, making a contribution every year. So I totally agree with you. Um, speak to those who are around you connect with those who are around you um yeah so i'm gonna move off i love it i love it i love it and Al, when is the next movement christmas or uh, no, back to school? Well, actually, actually we're we're in the process right now um we actually um recently just sent out a message um chris and i have been communicating the last few weeks in terms of trying to get it, um, in contact with the director to understand more of the needs. Um, of course, they're, they're going to appreciate anything we do. But, you know, while, we were, while I was down there, I saw some specific needs, um, you know, that's probably uh, on the grand scale of, of things. But, um, you know, we want to see if we can, you know, scratch that itch, um, something that they really, really could, could help need help, um, get help with. Right. Um, you know, that, that communication is key because... Originally, you know, when we heard children's home, we're going to get um, clothes and all of that stuff. And when Chris communicated with them, they said, hey, there's a church in Spanish Town that already provides clothes for the kids and right, stuff. So right. that, that, that communication was key. So we know, you know, we're, what we're providing, 100% of it is going to be used. Nice. Awesome. Nice, nice, nice. I love it. I love it. I love it. So let's get the back to school movements going. And then again, you know, Christmas around. Like I said, it's something I, I, I look forward to. I definitely look forward to it. I know I know everybody else does also because once that once that uh WhatsApp message comes out, it's just like energizing the 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 the, the, the movement, you know what I mean? And everybody's ready to go. Um this again, like I said, something I look forward to. I used to give to the United Way through my job, and I'll be honest with you, it was just it was a ritual. <laughs> um, you know, do it because they were I was asked to do it and boom, we had a United Way events each year, you know. But and, and it, it's it's good to give. I can't say it's a fraction as rewarding as a situation like this is, you know, and, and I don't know the best way to execute, but I do know that the first way is to start. You know what I mean? And, and if we as a group could accomplish something like this with just friends and family, it definitely can be done. I know what they said a true test of a man's character is not what he gives when he's abundantly resourced, but what he gives when his resources are slim. You know what I mean? So true. I, I don't know if nobody rich, I'm not. You know, I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So last man to laugh, you know. But, <laughs> <laughs> but trust me, it's 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 giving, man, giving, giving, giving. And and, and more than anything else, I, I, I implore you, do it and, and let, let your kids see it. Let 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 your younger siblings see it because we need to nurture a giving society. Yeah, make it contagious. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Gentlemen, 
I want to thank you for coming through, Chris, and, and Al for taking the time out to, to hop on the line with us here, taking some time to share not only your knowledge, but just talking to our homegrown listeners about the initiative and inspiring some folks. Any last words? I know we're not putting out any, and we're intentional not putting out any contact info because, one, we're not an organization. We're not trying to get involved in that. This is just to inspire people to go and do your own. We're not checking it. We're not fact-checking it. We're not doing anything like that. You know what I mean? We're just inspiring you to go and do your own. Um, any last words of encouragement for the guys, Chris? Yeah, well, you know, first and foremost, I just want to thank you, uh, G. Quo, for having me here to uh, share. Most welcome, most um, welcome. You know, um, this whole uh, donation, giving back, has been very rewarding. And um, I just want to encourage people, you know, listening right now, you know, look, um, you know, do what you can in whatever situation. You know, if donating to a school is, is what you're you know, called to do or inspired to do, do it. Uh, don't wait, just do it. And, um, yeah, pretty much like Nike, just do it, man. Mad, mad, mad. Al, what about you? Um, how can I follow up after Chris? Um, <laughs> you know, so eloquently <laughs> stated all of that. Like Under Armour. Um, <laughs> <laughs> just, just to follow up and say, you know what I mean, um, again, this is, I, I hope this is going to be an example for our fellow countrymen. And to understand that there's a need um, for our country. Right. Um, we're all proud again when Usain runs. Um, not so much recently. We're still still very proud of um, all of what our countrymen have done. Yes. Um, we're proud of our music, proud of, proud of our food. Proud of, you know, when we're recognized as being, you know, from the same country as Bob Marley. Right. Um, but you know we 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 have to give back. We have to do more to make our country better. Um, it's not just the responsibility of those that are living on the island. Um, we that know and can do better have to do better. So I just encourage anyone to just make that start. Um, it doesn't take much. Um, as Chris said, this this started with just a very small group, and it has grown tremendously. And I think it can continue to grow nice. um, with, without. Without any organization, where we, you know, hundred percent of what we collect goes back to the kids. Most nice. definitely, and you said something there, Alvin. That I, you know, I concur with. It's definitely not a responsibility of those people that live on the island. True, or the so, government. So, you know, apparently, <laughs> you know, I want to just make that clear. Yeah. So, what about yeah. the people who <laughs> live in the house? Them like uh, the Devon house, them and the, the, the King's <laughs> house, and thing. Are, are they categorized in the same in the same? Group here of people that are not necessarily responsible. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, it's it's funny. Um, we we live, we all live here, and we understand uh, how the political system works here. And you know, we always hear here, you know, jokingly, you know, government's not responsible for people. And but in Jamaica, we tend to go the opposite, where everything that happens, we blame the government. And I just think that if more of us take a uh, um, an active role in our country, um, those living there as well as those living outside. I think we can do better. Um, you know, if we take, you know, as be as proud as Jam of Jamaica when things are go aren't going as good, I think we we can be be better. Um, because again, we're we're all biased, but we li we have the best island in the Caribbean. What do you mean? Um, yep. Our most original. <laughs> Original people, um, you know, most known for music and food and all of the, the good stuff. But we have challenges. So we right. have to embrace those challenges and just move forward. Absolutely. Agreed. Agreed, my brother. Absolutely. Absolutely. And again, it's just a word of encouragement and some inspiration for everybody out there. So thank you so much for coming through. Like we said, you're not necessarily dropping any info for you to contribute anything on this side of the globe. Do your own thing. It's just, just, just to inspire. Start a spark a movement. Like my virgin Jay would like to say, one candlestick can light a thousand. You know what I mean? So just keep it moving, keep it grooving. We are homegrown. We love it. We love it. Yeah, man. <laughs> well, there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. It has indeed been a pleasure. Remember, be safe, be kind, and be good to each other. My name is G. Cole, and this is Homegrown. No people come to Jamaica, no, no, oh, we live things, say everything nice, too, we full of vibes and things, eh, eh, them same one feel it to them heart when them get few of us and the real thing, yeah, me day at town one day, a power with a white man will come all the way from Norway, and him turn to me and say, how comes Jamaica full of so much screw face, same time he lift me head to the 
sky And a teardrop fall from me high Me say my youth come with gold for a drive Let me show you why me cry Look on the gully side Do you see anything to smile about? Look at that hungry child, yeah Do you see anything to smile about? Look at the schools and you them go forget them education Do you see anything to smile about? Look at the conditions of our police stations Do you see anything to smile about? No, same time the brothers say How can the nation believe in this way? And the next thing him say How can the government play so many games? Same time my heart fall to the ground Cause there's much more where that comes from Certain places they are worse than slum Youth man come and take a look on River Town Do you see anything to smile about? Look on Pianland, yeah Do you see anything to smile about? Flankers, Mobe and Safran's heights in a Spain. Do you see anything to smile about? What flats can tie your mud down there all the same? Do you see anything to smile about? No. Nakikinika sa musica, homegrown with G. Cole. Estás escuchando homegrown con G. Cole. Nin sien zai zheng zai shou ting de shi, homegrown with G. Cole. You're listening to homegrown with G. Cole. Remember, all the music played on the Homegrown podcast is available on iTunes and all your digital retailers. Please support the artists.